Say hello to Allie and her trusty quarter horse, Whiskey. Yeah, these two have a real special bond. Then again, Allie bonds with every large animal she encounters. It's a gift, and one she's had for as long as she can remember. And that gift is a big reason why Allie dedicated eight years of her life to UGA and the College of Veterinary Medicine. Now two years removed from Athens, Dr. Allie is living out a dream, having recently launched her very own mobile veterinary clinic. I absolutely have loved animals, the generic, you know, love animals type deal. Um, But then, you know, growing up on a farm and seeing my granddaddy and each of my granddaddies, you know, raising beef cattle and, um, you know, producing hogs. um, It just, my love for agriculture just always played a part from a young age. So as you can see, Allie's ag roots run deep. In addition to her grandfather's, Dad William is a former row crop farmer and irrigation specialist. Nowadays, though, he's retired and spends most of his time tooling around the property on his trusty tractor. And by the way, that's just one of many he owns. So this is my dad's, um, I guess you would say, rather large tractor collection. Um, With him being a row crop farmer, we've always had a... I guess a passion for uh, John Deere tractors, but his kind of goes a bit further (laughs) than anybody else's, I would say. Yeah, I know, has nothing to do with veterinary medicine. But Allie's proud of it and calls it her favorite place on the property. Naturally, her other favorite spot is anywhere there's an animal. Doesn't matter if it's a large animal or a small one. Although Allie admits she's kind of partial to cattle. And more importantly, she loves being outside and on the farm. A big reason why she opened a mobile vet business and not the traditional office type. So one, I do not like to be cooped up inside all day long. I do not want to sit in a clinic behind a desk or, you know, in an exam room. That's just not, I enjoy small animal medicine, but I hate that you have to be inside all day long. And so, um, I'm fortunate that I get to be outside, you know, with the animals. And I also, you know, my love for agriculture and I truly want to be able to help farmers and producers um, in producing the best end product that they can possibly do, Um, you know, and not all cattle or, you know, food animal um, are gonna enter the food chain and a lot of them are pets, but you still just get to be out there with them and, you know, help them with their passion because farmers are passionate about what they do as well. And so it's kind of a team effort and, you know, getting to that end product should it enter the food chain. I guess in a perfect world, um, this business would take off to the point where I wouldn't really need to supplement my income with with small animal clinical work, even though I do enjoy it. Um, So my goal, I guess, in the next year is to prove to myself and Um, I guess make it happen or see if it's going to happen where I could be a full-time large animal veterinarian and not need, you know, to spend days in the small animal clinic to supplement my income.